What's up guys? It's Phil and it's time for another update. So I've been trying to keep these updates short and on top of that I also accidentally didn't record a whole lot from my last update. So I'm very behind on my dining tables, like very behind. Um, I was supposed to have almost all of these done and delivered by the end of January and it's now uh, Valentine's Day. Which means I'm way overdue on my last two tables. I also had a client cancel her order so I've got a dining table just sitting in there and I built an extra one just kind of on a whim and I'm just, it's nuts. Things are, things are taking a very long time to get done. I'm excited to be finishing up some dining tables and moving forward on something else. What's interesting is I've gotten a ton of orders for built-ins. Everybody in this area wants custom built-ins, which is awesome. So I'm operating completely on word of mouth at this point. I don't even advertise on Facebook for the built-ins anymore. And I'm booked out uh, pretty far, I think through April, possibly even May. So we'll have to see how fast I get stuff done and if I can get my part-time guys to come back and, and, and help me out with this stuff, it might actually go a lot faster. But all that to say, my trailer that I bought is supposed to be used for deliveries only and currently it has become a mobile workshop. So I decided I'm just going to go for it, turn it into a mobile workshop and use it to do custom built-ins out of the trailer as opposed to just doing them out of my truck like I originally thought I was going to do. That idea is not off the table yet but we'll talk about that later. In the meantime, I've got that giant sander that I just bought and the uh, dust collection system that I haven't installed yet. I do have my jointer, but it's all the way in here. And those things are just sitting in my trailer. I can't move them anywhere. I don't have room for them. They're way too heavy to just put on the dirt and I've got to do something about it. So, I just spent way too much money and I got the landlord's permission and I added an addition onto this barn. So I'm super excited. We're starting on that today. I know I just said added, I think, adding, I'm adding an addition onto this barn. So I'm super excited to be getting started on that today. It's not supposed to take too long, which is great because as I finish up these dining tables, I'm not gonna have anything else to do. And that makes me really, really antsy because I wanna get out and I wanna get to work and get started on these built-ins. So they should be here any minute. I'm gonna keep working on the dining table that I'm currently working on and hopefully we'll get this thing up in the next couple of days, weather permitting.
So we are now two weeks in and my shop expansion has got no farther than it did on day one. Um, we thought the concrete was going to be ready to pour and on day two it started raining and it didn't stop for six days. Then it got clear for three days and my contractor and her guys were not available. Uh, and then when she was available, it rained again. And so, yeah, it, it's still not done. Now she and I did work out uh, this deal as a barter deal. So I'm doing a ton of work for her in her new shop uh, and she is setting up my shop expansion for my wood shop. Um, she doesn't normally do that kind of stuff so don't tell anybody, it's just a secret between you and me. Um, but she is kind of bartering with me for this so I'm not trying to hold her down to this because I know she's got to make money in order to pay her guys to get this stuff done and I'm doing work for her and vice versa. So say lovey, take it as it is, whatever you want to say um, it, it stinks for me because she wasn't available because of the weather and now she's not available because of cash flow but it happens um, but <clears throat> in the end this is gonna be awesome because I have super 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 duper confidence in her it's gonna be amazing because it always is so uh, she's squeezing me in I'm super thankful for that um, but I just I'm anxious to get this thing done so this oak top dining table is the last dining table that I have um, it's now March <laughs> but this thing is almost done. I'm loving it. The color looks great and and it is just I'm I'm in love with oak. I don't ever want to do pine again. Just kidding because all of the people that I have ordering dining tables right now all want pine tables. Nobody wants hardwoods because they're a little bit more expensive and people are cheap. That and the supplier that I just found here locally has really really good quality white pine. So, I will no longer have to kind of slum through uh the home store to try to find good pieces that could be used. I no longer have to hope that my other local mill has dry enough wood. These guys have it. It's kiln dried, ready to go. I can go pick it up and be using it that afternoon and I love that. I've also got this hickory table um, that I built just on spec. I just built it for me for funsies. Um, it's a beautiful table. It's really freaking hard wood so it dulls every piece of machinery that I put it through so I've had to sharpen all of my blades in this shop. So. My plan for this one is kind of cool, so I'm going to keep that a secret, and if you follow my Instagram um, and check the updates on here, uh, I'm going to be doing an update on this as a separate project, so ignore it for now. Other than that, I just showed you the finished built-in, the first of my new built-in season that I'm going into here. I've already started the second one, and actually at this point it's already halfway done. It's really small, and I'm pretty fast at these things, so um, it's looking good. Again, it's on my Instagram if you want to see that, but it is going well. I've also hired a part-time painter, and I just started talking to a new apprentice, and they're both supposed to come out on Monday and give me some help, so Let's hope all that goes well. One more thing I want to show you. I've been doing a little bit more spray paint art, um, and I did one today. It looks like crap, but it's still kind of neat, and I want to show you what looks so cool about it. So this is the painting I just did earlier this afternoon. Um, it looks okay. I've still got, you know, a lot of uh, practice to do. But check this out. What? Look at that. That's awesome. It's so super cool. Got my heater on so you can see a little bit of orange reflecting off the planer there, but that is so freaking cool. I love the way that turned out. And there it is again with the light on. So with that guys, I'm gonna wrap up this update. I wanna say thanks to everybody for watching. Thanks to everybody for getting me to 2,000 subscribers. That's a super awesome milestone that I didn't have a sponsor for because I'm really small. Maybe I'll do a giveaway for 2,500 subscribers. Hmm. Who likes free stuff? You like free stuff? I like free stuff. Maybe I'll do that. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, make sure to subscribe, like, click the notifications, go to the other thing, check out the Instagram, PMK Woodworking, check out Facebook, PMK Woodworking, everywhere you go it's PMK Woodworking. It's late, it's the weekend, and I got a very busy week next week, so I'm done. See ya!